Hi, I'm Sebastian Quintero. I'm Ishan Shah. And I'm Jake Seymour, and we are Kickstart. The purpose of our app is to provide computer science education for students who are interested in learning a subject area but lack the proper resources to carry out their interest. In Florida, only 40% of schools actually teach computer programming, and a surprising 90% of parents actually want their kids to study the subject. Currently, job opportunities in the computer science field are growing at a tremendous rate, and demand for these jobs are increasing as well, including high-paying entry-level jobs. Additionally, computer science occupations make up over 60% of all STEM fields, making it one of the largest growing industries in the United States. Our intended audience is for any student interested in learning programming, regardless of their socioeconomic background. This is the homepage of the Florida Kickstart website. Here you will see information such as the project description which states our main goal as an organization. You are also able to see our Twitter and Instagram feeds where recent posts are shown. Posts on social media include important events and project updates. The most important feature of the site is a toolbar, which can redirect the user to more detailed information about the project and its members via the About Us tab, information regarding event dates via the Calendar tab, and most importantly our online lesson plans via the Online Courses tab. Each unit is created using the 5E lesson plan, the National Standard for STEM Education. This NASA-endorsed curriculum structure helps us to keep the users actively engaged throughout the lessons. There are six components to each lesson. For example, in Java Lesson 1, we have an instructional introductory video explaining what this unit is about and what they will be learning. A Nearpod presentation, a software that allows high interaction between users and the instructors, permitting us to control the presentations during the sessions while still allowing users to browse in their free time. An activity or programming assignment, an activity for users to learn how to program or learn how to use certain software, and a time for them to ask questions that could be emailed to the instructor. An assessment section. This is used to be tested with no letter grade, just to see how well they will do and how much extra help they need. A feedback section. A section for users to reflect on the content so we can improve the specific unit. And finally, a flipgrid reflection. This is a screencast-like program which allows the users to reflect their experience and what they have learned on the lesson. It will also allow the reflector to share their experiences with others. In total, we have six lessons with all of these components. The main language is used for coding this web application, or HTML and Java. HTML was used for displaying the content we wanted on the site, while Java was used to organize the different pages and sort the connections between them. For example, this is the HTML code for the home page. You can see the title and subtitle text coded here with the header and paragraph tags, and the logo displayed by this image tag. The function at the bottom of the HTML file handles the drop-down menu that appears when you click the About Us button. The rest of the code is relatively the same as it is using containers to format the displayed content. As for the Java code, each request mapping line redirects internal links on the website to their proper locations. We plan to grow and develop our online platform so that not only students in our classroom can learn and be guided by our curriculum, but so that students beyond our reach can also learn too. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video.